<laughs> I had a, uh, a new friend via the internet send me a package. It's about the nicest I've ever got a critter. It's in this little uh, vacuum sealed bag. I have no idea if it stinks. We're about to find out. Today, we clean up a beaver. And in the name of keeping things fresh, oh man, there's two bags. In the name of keeping things fresh, and I gotta run to work, I'm gonna drop it into the crock pot on low with everything I would put in there normally. So a little shot of OxyClean, water, low, I'm just gonna leave it. Um, I get so many questions, what if I don't have a power washer? What if I don't have a big pot to boil in? What if I don't, what if, you're gonna have to improvise. So today, I'm gonna try and show you how to improvise. You might wanna clear with your mom or your wife or somebody that you're using the crock pot. I am gonna remove a little bit of meat on that. So let me, let me move the camera around. Beaver day. Sometimes skulls get a little bit slimy, so I'll use something to get a little grip. In this case, I'm gonna sprinkle a little OxyClean on there while I remove the cheek pieces, the tongue, and the jaw. While we're watching that, let me give you a few fantastic beaver puns. What did the beaver say to the tree? It's been nice gnawing you. Get it? Because beavers gnaw on trees. All right, here's another one. What did one beaver say to the other beaver when the bank downstream was flooding? Well, damn it. <laughs> Get it? Because they build dams, okay. Hey, just for the record, the only two clean beaver jokes I could find. All right, back to the business at hand. I'm gonna remove everything I can just like a normal skull. I remove the bottom jaw and then I set it right down into the crock pot with a little bit of OxyClean. Then I'm gonna fill it full of water, plug it in, turn it on low, and then I'm gonna revisit it in five hours. Our soup is ready. <laughs> If you're doing skulls on a crazy budget, like you just don't have the money, I can relate because I've been there for many, many years. That's how I got started in this. Um, this is a great trick. So this crock pot's like 28 bucks at Walmart. I think we just looked at them a minute ago on Amazon, like 22 bucks. It's pretty cheap. Quick news flash: Target's got them for nine bucks. You could be in the skull business with a used toothbrush and nine bucks. So. I turned it on low at about nine o'clock this morning. It's about two o'clock now. I haven't even opened it. Matter of fact, I'll bring the camera over and look. It's swirling real slow, right? Just swirling and, oh, delicious. Truth is, it smells like laundry detergent and a normal old crock pot meal. And that is the jaw of that beaver. I could take this with a power washer and just go, just done, like right now, no problem. But just to help encourage you to do a skull if you don't have the budget to do them, this is a great alternative. So let's just tinker with it real quick, right? That's the tongue area. Woo! Hey, you're not gonna believe this, but it's gonna be hot. You can always tell if you've used some sort of soap or something. It makes this tissue real gelatinous. Some of you guys that may not have a washer or an environment to do it in, I imagine you're pretty stoked right now. Wire brush, you can use a coarse toothbrush. Oh. If you were near a car wash, you could take that skull, put it in a plastic bag, run to your local car wash and just go 
and that skull would be done right now. Just a little heads up if you want to save yourself a whole bunch of scraping and picking. couldn't resist. I fired up the power washer and I give it a good spray. Every hole and every orifice was clean. And then I dropped it in the crock pot with 20% peroxide, 80% water. I'm trying something a little new with a completely different product. I'll report back, but I think this stuff is magic in the crock pot with the mix for two hours on high that skull was brilliant white so i pulled it out i gave it a good rinse and i set it in front of a fan to dry once that skull is dried for me that's overnight then i take and give it a coat of flooring mop and glow to seal the bone and then i glue the hinge of the jaw and the teeth together to keep it in a nice tight package. So the crock pot beaver is a really cool way to go. I can tell you that the peroxide I'm working with right now is something from the pool supply. It is way, way, way stronger than what I've been talking about this whole time. And man, it's too delicate. I don't want to just say, this is the deal, use it. I really want to get it right because this skull in a few places, man, is whew, it's starting to go. Um, go meaning that it's getting porous and it's starting to damage the bones in those thin areas. So I want to work on timing and amount before I really start promoting this product. But it's going to be cheaper for you, easier to get, way stronger, uh, all, all those good things. So the beaver is done. It is beautiful and it was easy to do. So from this point forward, if for the financial piece is what's holding you up from doing skulls, you should be good. No joke, for nine bucks you could buy a crock pot and you can do small game animals if you're willing to get dirty. Please, please, please don't take the crock pot in the house with the peroxide in it. It's a chemical and you don't want those fumes in the home. Take them outside, do that piece. Otherwise, that's it. I'll pull the camera in and get a couple of really cool angles of this thing. Thank you so much for watching.